Persons living with disabilities will be further empowered as the sought Western for the construction of a spanking new state-of-the-art business center in Region 6. It is expected to offer manufacturing of products, technical training, a retail space, and therapy. First Lady Aria Ali said the center is expected to see the improvement of the lives of persons living with disabilities since it is the first of its kind in Burbese. She noted that the focus is on economic empowerment. Apart from that, we will want to ensure that these persons benefit from training, technical training and so social support so that they can be empowered to lead their own lives. As it is, the majority of persons with disabilities live in relative poverty. That is because a disability increases the risk of poverty through lack of employment and education opportunities, lower wages, and increased cost of living because of that disability. That is why the empowerment of persons with disabilities is important to redefine their possibilities. Persons with disabilities must be empowered through effective engagement in economic, social, and political life, where often economic empowerment has been widely recognized as a key factor for enhancing the autonomy of persons with disabilities and their full participation in society. Meanwhile, Ganesh Singh, coordinator of the Ghana Council of Organizations for Persons with Disabilities, lauded the initiative. He said it's transformative and visionary. It's a transformative and visionary initiative. It is visionary in the sense that persons with disabilities it is something we've never seen here in Guyana. We read stories and we hear about these things in other countries, but it was never replicated here. Transformative in that it will transform the lives of persons with disabilities in Region 6. As we all know, persons with disabilities are one of the most vulnerable groups, as Ravid would have highlighted. These individuals, most of them, live in impoverished circumstances. A high percentage are unemployed. With this center, that will change. Human Services and Social Security Minister, Dr. Vindia Prasad, said this government is making the vulnerable groups become independent. She noted that this is a move and a step in the right direction. I usually use the tagline, moving from a state of dependence to independence. And that is what this project at this site is going to do. Really move people to a state of independence. And when people get to that state of independence and they produce the products that I'm sure will emanate from this business center, we want everyone across this country to be able to support those products buy from those persons so that you indirectly or directly will contribute to them being independent. This is what we must do. So while you may not have the privilege like the Ministry of Housing to construct this facility, you will definitely have the privilege of supporting those persons who will be equipped with skills and business opportunities when that time comes. Meanwhile, Minister within the Ministry of Housing, Susan Rodericks, noted that the business centre will not only transform the lives of the persons living with disabilities, but will ensure that they can fend for themselves. They are already living a very difficult life, faced with many challenges. The least we can do is to, be, is to give them the opportunity for them to help themselves to do better. Chinese ambassador to Guyana, Gu Puwunya, also commended the initiative. She added that China and Guyana sees persons living with disabilities as important in their respective societies. Uh, both the Chinese government and the Guy Guyanese government attach great importance to caring for persons with disabilities and vulnerable groups. Uh, through uh, social welfare, job creation, 
uh, poverty elevation, uh, because we uh, share the common value of development for all, benefit for all, inclusive uh, development, and of course, very important vision here, the One Guyana. So this project, this inclusive ability project initiated by First Lady is a very important, very, very good idea. The center will be constructed through the Ministry of Housing and Water. The plan is to have those persons with disabilities who already make products manufacture those products here, then supply the local and even regional markets.